Good day, one and all. My name is Kathy, and welcome to this episode of the Scrap and Crafty Gardener. Today, I am going to be making a thank you card uh, for the local VFW who did something very nice for me. Um, and I'm going to be using Simon Says Stamp. This is their um, poppy field. That's SSS 202607C. This is their 6x8 clear stamp set, along with the matching... Um, stencil six by six stencil and i'm also throwing in there um this gina k starstruck stencil there's gonna be a lot of stenciling today but i need to get a little stamping out of the way so i'm going to make a white card today this measures 10 inches by 7 inches i scored it at the 5 inch line folded it and creased it with my bone folder and i'm going to be stenciling right on the top of this a little bit today then I have um, two pieces of gold mirror cardstock. Um, this measures two and a half by four and a half. And then this piece, I have it in gold and I also have it in white because I don't know what color I want it to be yet. So these pieces measure three inches by one inches. And then I have a smaller piece of white um, this is going to be my sentiment strip, and I haven't decided whether I'm going to color the background of the white one or put it on the gold. This small piece measures one inch by three inches, and then I have two white layered pieces. Uh, this I'm going to color blue, so if you have this in um, a royal blue or a dark blue background, that would be perfect. Uh, this measures six inches by four inches, and then the inside piece measures five and three quarters by three and three quarters and i will have those measurements listed below but to cut all these pieces out i use the waffle flower a7 master set it has oh, what is it let me look in here it's got 20 dies that measure all sorts of rectangles for you all right so i need to stamp first I got a little smooch on there. Uh, let me see. I got a little piece right up here, which may just, there we go. Oop, I just made it worse. Blow it off. Okay. I'm going to stamp on this one. This is where the poppies are going to go. And I'm going to stamp on my sentiment strip. And then I'll let these two pieces dry while I cut everything else out. So I'm going to use my, um, I'm going to turn it this way today. This is uh, the Misty. This is the uh, original size, they call it. And I want my pop, since this is a large stamp, I'm going to line this up with this little rectangle here. And I have my waffle flower grip mat in there. And I'm just going to, down. Now you could have stamped this and then just chopped down your piece, uh, but I kind of want to get as much as I can. I'm thinking if I have most of these three stamps in there, but I want it centered. I think just like that. Now I have not conditioned this stamp yet, and that just means I'm getting off the coating that comes on it from the factory. And they call this conditioning. I just use my fingers. They do make um, little erasers for this job. All right. And I'm going to stamp with the VersaFine Claire in the colorway Nocturne. This may take a couple coats. And I'm going to press a little firm today. I'm not squishing it, just pressing firm. Yes, and I'll need one more coat, I believe. This is a beautiful stamp. I thought... Um, since this is being the VFW, I thought poppies were 
quite appropriate. That's perfect. So I'm just going to pick this up and I'm going to use my tidy towel just to clean off. Get it squeaky clean. And then I'll clean off my stamp. This has a lot of little lines, so I'm just going over it a little bit more carefully just to make sure that I'm getting all the lines cleaned off. And that's a, that's a, that's, I love this stamp set. Okay. All right, I'll put that back. And just set that aside. Now I'm going to get my little sentiment strip. And this I can put right down in the corner. And I'm going to use the thank you that comes with this set. And just kind of center that on there. That looks good. And new stamps tend to be very sticky. So I'm just going to condition that again by rubbing my finger across the stamp. I think just one more. I want that to be nice and crisp and black. And that looks good. I even got it straight. All right, and I'll just clean this off. All right, and I am done stamping. So I can put this where it goes. I'll set this aside. Now I am going to stencil. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stencil the outside of my card. Let me set that up there. And I have my large waffle flower grip mat here. The original uh, plastic covers on these just crinkled up too much and then I lost one. So I just used regular acetate sheets, the eight and a half by 11. I'm just going to rub this a little bit. It feels a little dusty. Okay. Now I'm going to put the card on here. And this is where I'm going to use the star struck. I'm only going to go along the edges of the card because that's all that's really going to show. Uh, but over here, I don't want to get anything on it just yet. But I also don't want to do these uh, half stars, which it really won't matter over here because it's going to be covered up. But I just want to do the back, um, the top and bottom edges. And I'm going to go over just a little bit. So that's all the way to the edge of the card. And I've got some sticky on my mat. Now I'm going to use um, GMK's blue denim. I'm hoping this will be a good color. I think that's what was already on my brush. Now, a lot of this isn't going to show, so I'm just going to do the top edge. And come down the side. And I want to get this dark. And I'm going to do this in like the colors of the U.S. flag. But this could also be the color of the British flag. Uh, I know there's a lot of flags out there that are um, the same colors. Okay, now I'm going to pick this up and turn it this way. 
see if I can line up a stamp. I might not be able to. Let me try it this way. It doesn't have to be perfect. You see, I have a, a star here that had started to be colored in. That might be that one. That's okay. Most of this is going to be covered up anyhow, so I'm just going to go from here. And... Okay, that should be good. I'm just going to clean this off really quick. Um, well, I should do my fingers too before I even touch that card. So I'm just going to set this off to the side. Now you can use rubbing alcohol, um, and a lot of people do. Um, if it needs rubbing alcohol, I'll take it upstairs to do it because my craft room is in a windowless basement. Um, so I don't like to use rubbing alcohol down here. It's just too strong. And when you have asthma, that's not a good thing. Now, baby wipe to clean off as much as I can of this blue. Because I don't want to get it anywhere on my card where it doesn't belong. Now, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm just rubbing my fingers on here just to make sure I'm not getting any blue. And that looks to be pretty good. So I'm going to pick this up. Clean off my mat. I'm just going to double check my layers here because I want to make sure that this covers up. Yes, it does. A little bit of smush up there, but that's okay. I can cover that up with a um, bling of some sort. All right, now I'm going to use red, and I have not decided what color red yet I want to use for my poppies. So I've got several reds here. Um, I'm going to try cherry red. That seems to be bright, vivid red. Yes, okay, I'm going to use the cherry red. Red hot is also bright, but I think cherry red it is. Okay, so let me get Simon's stencils out here. And there are four layers to this. Um, looks to be just this one is the flower. Well, that lined up really nicely. And I'm going with a medium hand. I want them to be dark, uh, but I don't want to flatten my bristles. So I'm just making sure I've got a lot of ink on my brush. And going over. Now over here, I'm going to just have a small piece. I don't want to get the red on my card. I think eight by eight stencils would be ideal uh, for us um, five by seven card makers, but this is working nicely. I want these poppies to be nice dark red. And now on the uh, petals in the middle, I am going to add some um, gold highlights oh that's beautiful I do say so myself now red will stain so this is one that I will take upstairs and clean off um, with rubbing alcohol Okay, that was layer one. Layer two appears to be 
the stems. Yes. Now I've got to get a green brush here. Uh, green. Okay. Let's see what I had on here already. And I want to use uh, jelly bean green for the stems. It does look I did get some. No, I didn't. Haha. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I got a small streak of red that I'll try and get off with my um, Tombow Sand Eraser just to see if I can get that off there. And I'm going light with this color. Okay, layer three. Oh, this actually says leaf layer one, uh, leaf layer two. All right, so let's try leaf layer two. All right, where are these leaves? Hello, leaves. This one, I'm going to go with the next one because I can see easier where this one goes. Now this, I'm going to do a little bit with the jelly green, jelly bean green. So I'm just going to like hit or miss and just using pretty much what was left on my brush. But I'm going to come back in with a fresh asparagus, which is a nice darker green. And just tap in here and there. see how that looks yeah see it, it just adds like a little shading and I'm getting some nice green over here and red so I might trim this piece down just a little bit more All right. now this one now I can tell where this one goes And this one I'm going to do in all jelly bean green. I'm going to put this acetate over it, but I'm still probably going to trim this down a little bit narrower. And now I want to go a little darker. Like that. So I'm just making sure I have a lot of the color on my brush. But just... I'm barely even pressing these bristles. Let me see how that looks. Yes. All right. Okay. Clean this one. All Now, I'm just going to get out my cutter after I take my stencil mat off. Because I am done stenciling. Right over here, I got just a smidge. I think this will be about about an eighth of an inch off the one end. And that's all I need to do. Okay, now I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper because I'm going to use an alcohol ink. For this larger piece of blue, if I had blue, I'm going to color this uh, with my Ohuhu um, Alcohol Ink Marker B953 Napoleon Blue. And this is a nice dark blue. Okay. 
Now, if you have um, the color of your choice, go for it. I didn't happen to have uh, the color that I wanted for this project today. Let me see if I've got that colored enough here. Yes. All right. Okay. Now, I'm going to clean my fingers a little again here. Let me see. I had some alcohol in up here. All right. There's a little bit of an ink smudge right there. Um, and it looks black. Might have just been a piece of dust. Okay. All right. Now, these two, I'm going to glue down right on top of each other. See, by trimming off that eighth of an inch, it gives me a little bit of a wider board on the border on the edges, which looks nice, actually. I love this stencil. Now, on here, I am putting the gold down first. And I'm going to pop this up just a smidge uh, with my sixteenth of an inch foam strips here. and then just cut a piece across. I just want to add a little dimension. This is going to be hand delivered, um, so I'm not worried about mailing it. If I was mailing it, I would probably just glue this one down flat, which I had thought about doing originally, but I, I just now decided make it stand up a little. And this, I want just like that. And then this is going to go on top. Now, this side will get glued flat. This side is going to have the popped up strips. So I'm going to go from about here to make this the same level all the way across. And I'll just use some pieces, parts. I've got two there, so let's separate those. And I'll just use the pieces parts. Save all the little pieces. You can use them for something. Though it does make uh, more time consuming when you're peeling the tops off. But no need to waste if you can put it to use. All right, now I'm just going to stand up while I... Put this down. Okay, now for the sentiment. Oh, you know what? I didn't put glue down here. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's sneak some glue in. And hold this down with my acrylic block. All right, now for the sentiment, I need to decide. I got more glue on my finger. Okay. Very multicolored today. Love crafting. Same as gardening. You never have clean hands, really. <laughs> well, they might be clean. They're just stained. Put this back where it belongs. 
Now for my sentiment, do I want to put it on gold? Mm, I'm thinking I do because I don't want to um, do more blue, which is what I would do here. So I'm going to put it on the gold and I'm just going to glue this down flat to the gold. And I'm just going to stick my small acrylic block on here while that dries for just a second after I make sure it's lined up. Okay. While that is drying, I'm going to take my gold. This is the Artistro Permanent Marker Pen. It's an extra fine point oil base. It is such a shiny gold that I want to come along and do the little points on the poppies. Make them gold. Now, if this card was not for the local VFW and you were just making this beautiful poppy, I would go with a plain background um, and perhaps another white panel just behind this, behind the blue, or whatever color you use for your um, inner panel. But I'd put a... Uh, narrower shadow panel behind it and perhaps white or even black um, just to add a little bit more something to it okay i'm just going to take my wet wipe because i got a little bit of glue on the gold and it just wipes right off and i'm going to pop this up um, i want this to stand up a little bit more so i'm using these foam um, foam dots that I got from Hobby Lobby and these are an eighth of an inch high. I think I have some larger ones. Let me see. Um, I got one larger one. Yeah, here we go. Put this little one back on. It's... I'll put four on here. And I want the thank you. Do I want it to come down? Or do I want it up? I want it up. Right about there. Okay, now for extra, extra bling. I don't think I want to do gold pearls. I've got some clear um, round sequins. They're actual domes. Um, they look like water drops. I'm liking the clear. Okay. I think the gold would have just been a little much. These I just got on Amazon, and I, I do have a, a link to these if you're interested, in the box below. Okay, now I got out my wax pencil, put the glue on this one, and get out my art glitter glue and the fine tip bottle. This Velcro strap I just got off an appliance cord. Now when this First goes on, these domes will look cloudy because of the white glue behind it. But once they dry, they will be crystal clear. And it just, just adds a little bit of something without really adding bling. 
because the gold and the gold add just the right amount of bling. This picks up gems very well, except for when they turn upside down like a little turtle. It's hard to get them off their back. Okay, that's my card for today uh, that I'm going to use as a thank you card for the local VFW. Who are awesome, by the way. And thank you so much for watching. I, if you haven't seen this poppy stamp set it's beautiful. I'm going to use it for several other things. I'd like to use it just on a card by itself covering the whole background maybe. Again, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.